Hello, it's Jason Payne with JDP Realty Group, a coal banker, Dan Harper Realtors. Well, today I'm out at Church, Texas in a community just off of 1103 called Turning Stone. I'm out here because I have an out-of-state client considering putting an offer on the house behind me. It is a Emerald home, which is the high-end version of DR Horton, but uh, it's a beautiful home. Let's go check it out. All right, this does have the three-car garage the square footage is uh, 2785, I believe, really close to that. This house was built in 2000, so this is practically a brand new house. It was built for an elderly couple, and there was some unfortunate uh, circumstance that happened, so now this house is back on the market. And uh, let's go check out the inside. We do have a beautiful entryway. like the keypad there entry. Now, they did just have to replace some of the carpet because there were some dog issues, but that happened today. But nice entry when you come in. Love the tile floors. Right up front, we do have a perfect place for an office or an additional bedroom, because it does have closets. This is one of the carpets they just put in. With a full bathroom. Like I said, you do have the handicapped assist bars, just because this house was designed and built for a little bit of older couple. Or maybe this is, that's, I would put that as a guest bedroom and make this your office because it does have the dual uh, French doors. Lots of power outlets right there, perfect for you. And you can close these French doors if you want. But since there's no closet, this would be considered an office. This is coming in from the garage. You do have your full mud room, perfect for putting backpacks on. your utility room right here. This is someone's private residence, so I'm gonna to try to keep the personal stuff down to the minimum. But this does have a big three car garage. almost forgot. Let me go ahead and look back in these rooms here. Eight foot doors. I mean, I love, if you've been watching my videos, I love eight foot doors in houses with tall ceilings. Now you do have joining rooms back in this part of the house. So this is, if you have a larger family, this is really kind of neat because these rooms are good size. They do have really nice size closet. You can have your own, let me get that light on. Oh, there it is. Your own sink, your own personal sink, and then share the uh, bathtub and toilet area. Kind of reminds me of back in the dorms when you had your suite mates. So that's what this is. And like I said, the other room is pretty much an exact mirror of the one we just left. So, decent sized rooms, not the biggest, but decent. All right, I'm gonna walk back through here because I wanna give you the full effect of walking into the main area. All right, we're back up to the front of the house. Oh, ceilings. And let's check this out. Really good use of space. And check out this kitchen. Plenty of cabinet space. It does have the stacked ovens 
two stacked ovens with a microwave on top. For you vertically challenged people, keep that in mind. This microwave will not be that easy to reach. I am five foot nine and I have to reach up to get stuff out of here. So that's, that's where I'm at. So keep that in mind. But nice big island. And of course it does have my granite composite sink. And I love the shape of it because you can put a skillet in there. Oops, I never turned these pendant lights on. You know, we got plenty of light in here. Now, this isn't a gas neighborhood, so it is electric cooktop. I guess they have an extra microwave in here because, um, like I said, it was an elderly couple selling it, so they probably didn't want to be reaching up that high. There is no formal dining room, but you do have a plenty good sized breakfast nook right here. And just for your reference, this is where that other room was coming out of. Let's go check out the backyard. Nice covered space, not the biggest, but plenty nice. That light will be blocked for a ceiling fan if you want to do that. Your backyard, not the biggest, but adequate. This is in the shirt symbol ISD community. So I think the elementary school that this goes to is Sipple Elementary School in the Riata subdivision. I think it could be Cibolo Valley. But once again, eight foot doors leading into the owner suite. Plenty of space in here. And they do have the knockout extended extension for the window. But nice tray ceilings. They did carry the tile floor into here and then switch to a different tile for the bathroom. Does have the regular kind of builder's grade mirrors on there, but that shouldn't be a deal breaker on the buying and selling of this house. You can always put your framed mirrors up there if you want. Great size soaking tub with the privacy window there all right and a giant soaking shower i mean what giant walk-in shower with the rain head nice built-ins with a bench so that is a beautiful shower that they have in here the other vanity I believe this probably the water closet yep Water closet there. No need to be looking at that. Well, let's see the size of this closet. That's a good size closet. Give it a nice slow look. All right, we are up at the very front part of this community because I want to show off the amenities. Although the pool, well, it looks like it needs some work. Uh, obviously, it's not open right now, and uh, hopefully they clean that up and get it open soon. We are at the beginning of May 2021, so hopefully they get on, on the ball with that. You have a nice sitting area here. Let me go check out the playground.
All right, we're on the other side of the pool. You can see there's supposed to be a splash pad kitty area here, but man, it doesn't look like it's been in operation for a while. Definitely recommend, uh, well, I'm gonna make a phone call, find out what's going on with the HOA, figure it out because man, we're supposed to be 90 degrees today. And getting in that pool sounds kind of nice. But nice, beautiful park here with some gorgeous oak trees. Now there is another, just a regular park. It's on the back part of the community where the house I'm videoing today is located at. So you do have a really nice park, playground area, tennis courts, and a pool that's not operational right now. All right, that's going to wrap a tour of this beautiful home built by Emerald, which is the highest in DR Horton uh, category that they build in. This home is listed for 440K, so uh, keep that in mind. It's a beautiful house, one story, three car garage. So um, if my client is interested, I'm talking straight to you, let me know and I'll get that offer written. All right, talk to you later. Take care now. Bye.